So in the weather, you have models that you look at, and you have two models that are kind of butting heads. That's right. That cold front, are, it's supposed to be rolling through on Friday night, Saturday morning. We have two models that are conflicting. One says early Friday night, and the other one says around, mm, just around 10 o'clock on Saturday, and it's looking like we're going to trend towards that 10 o'clock on Saturday. So it could be a wet go over if you do have plans on Saturday morning, as well as mostly cloudy conditions looking like that's what's going to be stick around for your Saturday. But we got to get through that hours. first. So we need to be bundling up this weekend a little bit. Yeah, uh, well, 60 degrees is a little bit chilly. And it's, you know, it's, it's all relative. 60 degrees and sunny is nice, but when you go from 80 something mm -hmm. to 60 and rain, it's kind of like when I moved up here. Yeah. But <laughs> you enjoy the winter weather. I love it. I love it. I can't get enough of it. I'm always I'm going to ask for you snow. that in two years after you've been here for yeah, a couple of years. There you go. That's all we need to talk about. Let's talk about a little bit of weather, though. Today, a warm and humid is going to be the story, as well as some more scattered rain chances. Uh, rain chances will last until Thursday, uh, early Saturday morning when that cold front is expected to slide on through and behind it. A big cool down for the weekend, as we were just talking about. Highs only getting into the lower 60s. Have a warmer air mass sitting over us right now. Temperatures right now in the Midwest 69 in Louisville, 69 in Bloomington, St. Louis at 71, Des Moines at 68. Very mild for this time of year, as well as us sitting here in the tri states. Lower 70s for us. 60, uh, looks like 69 out in Jacksonville, 68 in Kirksville, 70 down the river. That's pretty much where we're sitting at. It's supposed to be sitting at uh, around 50 degrees. So definitely about 20 degrees warmer than where we should be at. Very warm here, and that's making for a little bit of shower activities you see across the tri-states. Uh, all this is flowing from southwest to northeast, and it's looking like this is going to continue for around midday, uh, or I shall say until around midday, because we have high pressure down to our south and our east. We have an upper level low pressure system just to its north and west, what's making all this shower activity. And you can see we are sitting in that warmer air, and that's going to continue to be the story here until that cold front can come through and sweep this out. So until then, we're going to continue to see lots of heat, lots of humidity, temperatures climbing all the way up in the middle to upper 80s, as well as you see more scattered shower and thunderstorm action here heading on into your Friday, as well as it works its way back to the south, more of that green funneling on in. Now here comes that low pressure system for your Saturday. It's going to move towards us over the course of the Friday and finally get to us Saturday night. And look at this front for me here. It's going to be a nice linear line, so we're going to have a line of strong showers and thunderstorms probably moving through between the 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. time frame on your Saturday morning, so do be prepared for that as it will be running its way on through. Today, highs back up in the middle 80s, scattered showers and thunderstorms, very hot for this time of year. As we said, only supposed to be around 70 degrees as a high, but changes are on the way. Tonight, 69 degrees, partly cloudy, that slim rain chance, as well as what we saw on that future cast. Now, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast here. You can see on your Illinois signal seven-day forecast, temperatures hanging all the way out to the middle to upper 80s, and, you, and it's going to last until that cold front does move on through Saturday morning. And behind it, look at that, some cool fall weather temperatures only in the lower 60s on Sunday, and temperatures climb back up into the lower 70s heading on into next week, and looks like lots of sunshine as well. We'll have more with KHQA this morning.